probably turn that music off. Otherwise, it's <coughs> soft spoken. So, if he's going to understand. Do you want me to, yeah. to film, like down here? Or do you want to do this? I don't know. Can you send it again? Just say when. <coughs> Alright, man. 37. Call me Robert. You know, people who know me the longest. But my marker right here is uh, Judge Bravo. No, out in Texas, uh, there was uh, an organization that uh, a friend of mine was with. And he one day he, I met him and he's like, you know what, you remind me of Johnny Bravo. And I'm like, okay, cool. about, you want, man. You so are you originally from California or did you come Yeah, from? no, not originally. I was raised here. Um, I was born in Reno, Nevada. Okay. Uh, so you just came out here with your family as a child? Yeah, but, you know, they're gone. Most of my time is usually making music or, you know, fixing my bike. <laughs> um, just dealing with the law, and I have a trouble with, uh, you know, this whole project. The main thing is right now, I'm just trying to get noticed. You know, because I make a really good music. And, I mean, I've had people ranging from, like, 60s and 70s to, you know, kids dancing around to, you know? Yeah. And I can span all genres. I mean, it's part of my, my natural talent. I'm, I write poetry. Right. Okay? So part of that is making songs or, you know, writing lyrics or whatnot. But I can't really sing, so I just write this shit. called Splash. Right. Right? And uh, I had for first, I guess, year and a half, I made 18 minutes. I'm pretty much all over. Like, I mean, I've gone from, like, Windy Point all the way to, like Mecca. Uh, the homeless are need to be more understood. If they're not understood, it creates problems. If they're right now, there's a lot of anger and you know boycotting and all this other stuff. Honestly, I would just tell like anybody out there who's not homeless, like look, put yourself in my shoes for a week with the same circumstances that I have and see if you survive. I've been doing this off and on since I was 10 years old. It's 26 years being homeless. Okay? I'm probably one of the best people who knows how to survive without money. Okay? And I can do it anyway. Now this right here, that trailer was given to me two days ago. From a gentleman who was out in Cat City. He rode by me, he was like going to the store. He come back, of course he had a 36 uh, pack of Coors Light beer. But he's like, you stop for a second. He's like, you need a trailer? I'm like, I could use one, yeah. And he said, sure enough. He said, give me 10 minutes, I'll come back with one. There it is. That's awesome. Lots of kindness. Yeah. You said, you mentioned earlier you were handing out uh, Lunch, sandwiches. Lunches. Yeah, I go to the, 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 the little small parts of where they have the well, where it used to be. You know, it's like a remnant. And I go and I get the lunches. Uh, right now, I had about 36. I'm down a little bit. Um, but I go from... North Palm Canyon to uh, San Luis Rey. I'm trying to expand it a little bit more so that you know, more people can get food. Because right. you know, a lot of them can't make it up here, it's too far. I make my bike unique so no one else wants to take it. You know, if it looks like crap, they don't want it. You know, but if it looks good, everybody's going to want it. Yeah. Well, to those who are in the, the homeless shelters, the ones that run them, it's not about abusing authority. It's about using it to a benefit for everyone. I knew that before, before I got there in the CBRM. Okay, a lot of times, you know, back then in 2012, they had a lot of ex-cons running the place. So whenever they got frustrated and they couldn't handle it, they would exude their authority in the position that they were in, and so forth, abuse it. So when that happens, they kick out a lot of people. I was one of them because I was running four different programs. I was running a computer program that I helped create so that the people could help stay in contact with their families through Facebook or Messenger or whatnot. The other ones was the laundry, uh, kitchen, and landscape. Okay? But I didn't have enough time to do what I needed to do to get my license or my ID or my birth certificate or my social security card. I didn't have time to do that because they want me to do that. When it went from a $12 million facility to a $20 million facility, the city yeah. came in and said, you gotta get rid of this, 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 and got fired a bunch of people, okay? But at the same time, it's still happening. Corruption is everywhere. Yeah. You may not see it, 
But like I told them a long time ago, this may be a Christian building, but it's ran by the devil. Thank you very much, dude. That's all I have to ask.